Hi there you guys, today I'm going to be showing you this white festive beaded pendant. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. It's done with really simple stuff, only 11 o seed beads and a bale. And if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are really simple stuff. Only two colors of 11 o seed beads and you could use 10 o seed beads if you want and here I use a bale. But if you decide to make these earrings, use ear wires, okay? And here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. I prefer to use monofilament to make my work firm. And this is size 10 beading needle, scissors. And these are pliers only to attach my bale to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to take 24 of these beautiful silver beads. Okay guys, and now I have 24 beads on my needle. 6 times 4, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six times four, it's 24. Okay, and now I'm going to slide all of those beads down almost until the end of this row. And what I want to do here is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once, then going second time through this loop I made. And I'm going to pull really slowly. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And then guys, I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure everything is nice, tight and secure. Okay. Make one more knot and pull. Okay. And now guys, I have this beautiful circle of 24 beads. And I'm going through some beads in this direction and pull. And now in my next step, I'm going to take a silver, a black and a silver. Okay, I have three beads here. And I'm going to skip, I'm exiting out of this bead here. I'm going to skip the next one and go through the following. Skipping one and going through the following. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm also going to go through the following silver bead. Okay, then again I will repeat a silver, a black and a silver. And I'm skipping this next bead that's on my way and going through the following. Okay. And I have this, then I will go through one more silver in this direction. Okay. And I will take a silver, a black and a silver. Okay. And in this time, when I skip one here, so I'm exiting out of this one, I'm skipping one and I will go through two beads because in this way I will save time. If you go, won't go one by one, but I prefer to go through two beads in one movement. Okay, again, three, skip one and go through two beads. Okay, one uh, silver, one black, and one silver. Skip this one that's on your way and go through the next two. Okay, 
And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here in a while. Pause this video, do these steps and meet me here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, I hope you pause the video and you catch up, up to here. Okay, and now I will go through this silver and this black. And I'm going to take three black beads. And I will go back through this black one like this. And now I have this cross of four beads and this stitch is called right angle weave when I make a cross of four beads in a circular motion. Okay, and now I need one silver bead and I'm going through this silver that is just beneath the black one. Okay. Then I'm going through the following black and I take three black beads go through this black to make a cross of four like this then go through the following silver bead okay now take one silver and go here in this silver that's under the the black one go here in the black make a cross of four and if you can in one movement go through the silver as well I will take one silver and go through this silver and if you can also go through the black in one movement and pull. If it's easier for you, go one by one, it doesn't matter. Just you might decide to save time, okay? Three blacks and go through the black and through the following silver, okay? One silver and go through the silver and through the following black. And now guys, I will do the same thing. Pause this video and continue making the same steps and I'll meet you here in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row. And now guys, what I wanna do is go here through this black bead in this direction, okay? And now what I like to do is flip my work. Uh, I'm doing this because it's easier for me to work in this direction. And what I want to take are three black beads, uh, three silver beads, sorry, one black and three more silver beads. Okay, I have this on my needle. And I'm going here through this black one. Okay, and I pull. Then I'm going through the following black, like this. And then through this black in this direction to the outside of my work. Then what I want to take are three silver beads, one black and three silvers. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going through this black one here. Pull. Then I go through this black. Okay, in the center. Okay, then I will do the same thing. Go through this black from the center to the outside edge. Then take three silvers, one black and then three silvers 
okay and go through this black one okay then through this one here I think you get the idea I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay I'm going here through this black one taking three silvers one black and three silvers like this and going to the center through this black one and through this one here the middle black okay guys and now I'm sure you will be able to do this by the end of this row. I will do this off camera and meet you here. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video and repeat these four steps from here and see you in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. Three silvers, one black, three silvers. And what I'm going to do next is go in this direction through my following cross or right angle weave okay and my goal is to exit out of this edge black bead okay here guys i want to take three black beads like this go through it in circle and I'm still making the famous right angle weave then what I want to do is go to the next silver and take two silvers one black and two silver beads okay and go to through this silver the one that's just beneath the black one okay like that then I'm going through the black and I will repeat the same thing take three black beads go back in circle through the black and you could also go through the following silver in order to save time okay then take three two silvers sorry one black and two silvers okay like that and go through the silver here and through the black one okay in one movement then take three black beads like that go back through this black one and through the following silver two silvers one black two silvers okay go through the silver and through the following black okay guys and i think you get the idea this is everything you do until the end of this row go through this black make a cross of four beads okay like this then add two silvers one black two silvers then again a cross of four and I'm sure you are going to be able to make it until the end of this row. If not, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing this part and repeat it from here. And I'll meet you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay. And now what I want to do is go through this black bead like this and what I like to do is flip my work because it's always easier for me to work in this direction I'm right-handed work in any direction it's easier for you okay and now I'm going to take five silver beads okay five I will go through this black one and after that through the silver okay then my goal is to exit out of my next black one okay 
and here I need just two black beads and I will go back in circle as I'm exiting from this black bead I will go back in circle through the same black and you see here I have something like a loop of beads okay now I will go here through some beads in this direction and I will go through this cross here of four black beads through one of its four beads through the side one and I'm going to take five silver beads okay five and I will skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the black one and through one of my silvers in my previous row then I'm going through the next two silvers and my goal guys is to exit out of my next black bead here I need only two black beads okay two black beads go back through this black one like this now this is what I have then I'm going through all of those silvers here and my goal is to go through one of the side black beads of this cross of four here you see and I'm going to take five silver beads okay I have five I skip I'm exiting out of this one if you don't see my thread and I'm skipping the black bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the following black and through one of my silvers in my previous row okay then go through the two silvers and exit out of the next black one and take two black beads and go back through this one okay guys and I'm sure you're gonna be able to finish this row following this pattern and uh, when you do this I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two black beads from this row and what I want to do next is add one more row okay I want to go here through all of those beads okay and as I'm exiting out of this silver I will take one more silver and go through this black one okay then I'm going to take three black beads go through this black one here take one silver and also go through this silver here okay don't pull too tight okay then go through all of those silvers take just one silver pull and take three black beads okay three blacks as I'm exiting through one of those two black beads I will go through the other one like this pull then I'm going to take one silver and go through the silver okay don't be too hard too tight just place it gently there okay and I will show you one more time go through this silver 
take just one silver and go through the following black then again take three black beads okay like that and go through this black one here and one silver okay guys and i'm going to let you do this by yourself just until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm just adding my last seed bead from this row and now my work is almost ready some ideas on how to make this one stiffer you could use thicker monofilament than 0.15 you could use 0.16 or 0.20 and then you could use your pliers to squeeze your monofilament to go through this size 10 beading needle in this case you could use 10 or seed beads and of course you could use transparent nail polish to go over it and make it stay stiffer okay these were my ideas and now what i want to do is find a place to make a knot and cut my thread of course you could go reinforcing your last row this will give this um, effect that we are searching for to be more stiff and stable okay and i'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop i've made then pull go through the following seed bead stick your needle in your mat and cut your thread okay and now guys i'm going to show you how to attach your bale okay i have my bale here you see what type of bale i have you could use other type of bale but for this one when you attach it you just go here through those beads and you squeeze it you use your pliers to squeeze it and now guys your pendant is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials amazon links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me